Last night I recorded a video about the perils of well, not forgiving others and how it can come back to hurt yourself. But I just realized that I sometimes don't even forgive myself oh, for mistakes that I've made in the past. And oh, I, it causes me to lose sight of things and then I, I make even more mistakes. I was just thinking about uh, the computer game conference this year. Which is really nice because this year it's being held later in the year. Oh, I think tentatively it's been decided around August. Which gives me a few more months to prepare the games. Oh, I always feel very rushed because of the timing of the conference. It's in July and so, uh, you know, for me I get seasonal depression. And so uh, March is when I tend to wake up from that depression. And then I got like two months to prepare for the games. Uh, before you know, things have to kind of start being wrapped up, and uh, it, it doesn't, it, the timing never seems to to work very well. It's usually in late June or early July, uh, and so uh, hopefully this year I wake up from my winter depression a little bit earlier because Groundhog Day it predicted an early spring. I don't know if that prediction is accurate or anything. Oh, uh, but um, last year at the conference. I kept losing things because I was so anxious about the conference. So before I even left for the trip, I almost couldn't find my passport. And um, I was just about to um, apply for an expedited pass passport when um, I found it. What had happened was I had gone to my... Uh, I, I, I had booked the trip and I needed some numbers from the passport. And I... Uh, I uh, got out the passport, and then I misplaced it. Uh, I think I was at a Starbucks when I was doing this. I put it into a different coat jacket, uh, a coat pocket that I hadn't, I hadn't worn for some time or something like that. I put it into my car, and I forgot. And later, uh, I, when I had gone to exercise and put on the same coat, it, it fell out of my pocket. And, and so I was walking down the trail one day when I when it just showed up and it was this very lucky find. Um, otherwise that trip could have been even more stressful. So on the day of the trip I had gone to the airport and um, I was parking off-site from the airport. It's a lot less expensive and then I was getting my bags ready and I, I had to check two things. I had to make sure I had everything I needed for the trip and also I had to make sure I didn't bring anything dangerous to the airport by mistake. You see I was living in my car and um, I had a lot of uh, definitely things you shouldn't bring onto the airplane uh, in my car. Uh, for example, uh, I've talked about in the past I love UV lighting. Uh, I don't think it's very safe to bring fluorescent light bulbs onto an airplane. For one thing, they contain mercury, and in a uh, enclosed environment like that, if one of them breaks, you got a you got an environmental disaster on your hand. The other problem is uh, mercury can amalgamate with aluminum in the airplane and uh, can definitely cause a disaster in that regard as well. So I don't think they allow you to bring them onto the airplane. And I had some dangerous chemicals in the car as well. I love to play with chemistry. I had homemade rockets. and yeah, definitely can't bring that into the airport. And I just wanted to make sure I didn't accidentally bring anything like that because I... You know, when you live out of a bag, oh, everything just mingles together. Oh, there's cooking utensils and oh, just a lot of things that would cause major confusion if I tried to bring them through airport security. Okay, so I was trying to make sure of that. And I wanted to make sure I had all my computer equipment and oh, things like that. And, and the, the guy who was going to park my car for me couldn't wait for me and he just kept interrupting me every five minutes are you are you done are you done and I told him you know I'll let you know when I'm done but he didn't seem to accept that to be honest I should have I should have pulled out of the parking lot and found somewhere else to, to fix things but oh I was I was anxious about the contest and finally everything's good there's nothing dangerous in my bag I have everything I take the shuttle to the airport and on the shuttle on the way to the airport is when I realized I didn't even have my laptop you know in the rush to, 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 to fix things I placed it on top of my car so I could move things in and out of my bag and I forgot it I left it on top of my car and uh, I got really worried because if the guy who was going to park my car didn't see it he moved the car it might have fallen off of the car and, and uh, been damaged and uh, fortunately he did see it I, I got so anxious that I uh, asked the uh, the driver of that uh, shuttle, how to contact him, and 
and I caused a huge commotion in the shuttle, and it was not very, not very pleasant to say the least. And then I get through airport security. I'm in a, I'm in a hurry. You know, for one thing, I like to opt out of the body scanners, and then I, and um, I get to the gate, and I realize I don't, I still don't have my laptop. I left it at airport security, and I went back to get it. All is good, and I, you know, I get to to uh, Taipei, and um, I take the subway into uh, to my hotel, and then I realize I don't have my camera anymore. I was busy taking pictures of um, part of the subway goes through a place that's really has really dark skies and um, I was taking pictures of the night sky and um, I left the camera on the subway train and the uh, I, I had located the camera but the guy was hesitating to give it back to me because he you know I, I couldn't describe it very well Oh, I had bought the camera I used off of Craigslist. I didn't know what, I didn't even know what brand it was. And then I remembered I had just used it to record a YouTube video like this one. So I told him to just go back to the videos. And sure enough, I'm in there. So he gives it back to me. And then the following day, I um, had gone to the conference and I made it halfway on the train ride. Oh, this is like about an hour's train ride away. And I realized I forgot the charger for the computer. So I had to go back to my hotel room to get it. And, um, uh, make a long story short, uh, I just couldn't forgive myself for forgetting things that I kept getting angry at myself, and it, it just caused even more confusion. And, um, uh, I, uh, got back home to the U.S., and, um, uh, the first thing I did, because I had such a panic about the guy not giving me my camera back because he didn't believe it was mine, I uh, took an inventory of everything I had. I, I took pictures of it and I put it on the cloud just in case anything confusing like that would ever happen again. And then I started to I started to relax. And once I relaxed myself, well, I stopped losing things, and, which is good. Sometimes when I do lose something and I lose it permanently, like I just lost a pretty pricey you know, set of headphones, I try to think maybe somebody else needs it more than I do. And that way I forgive the incident. That way I don't... Uh, keep the vicious cycle going. Thanks for watching.